Welcome to the Dobsonian Power Channel! Tonight is Friday and the sky is clear, outside, loads of wind, it will be our challenge tonight. That's why I placed my 8 inch and let's see if it can hangs, if, if it can stand up with the, with the wind. Now, this is the telescope that it's outside. The 8 inch Dobsonian telescope over an equatorial platform, as you can see below. And we call it the Prince. The Prince. The Prince. It is aimed with a ZWO294 color camera, not cooled. And inside the filter drawer that I have there, it's the quad band filter. So the goal is to try to capture. You see the wind. Look, look at the um, at the tree. The goal is to to find the nebulae that are large, like uh, the omega, like the elephant trunk. It will depend on the wind, the position. Welcome Joe Russ, welcome Ray, Fred Led, Luca. Luca, you are with your telescope, I think, outside. Antonio Cortez, Rita Castillo, Gregor Paulik, Jonathan. Great pictures, Jonathan. Great work with your virtuoso. Off ahead. Also tonight, outside with a telescope. Steve Miller, clear in Arizona. Great, great. Clear everywhere tonight. Astro Thieb also have its his scope out tonight. Rita Castillo, windy night in Algarve for sure. Very, very windy, but we, we can handy, handle it. Team, team, congratulations, team, for your new family member, an 8 inch Dobsonian telescope. A go to one. So one more to the family. Bob, welcome Bob. And Magda, uh, from Iran, greetings to Iran, great, great country. I, I forgot to place my shot here. Uh, hold on a minute. I have my tablet. It's quickly. I have great news. Well, I will have more. But for now. Yesterday. Well, here with the moon and the weather is not the, the great. With the moon. But I was doing visual yesterday. With my wife. I called the kids, but they, they didn't want to come. Well, and before doing visual, I was testing something and I discovered something that I will show you for people that use a Dobsonian telescope without tracking. Let me open the chat. Here. My channel. And that's it. Lots of wind. I will show you in a moment. But let me tell you that the push to feature, which is a game changer for people with a Dobsonian, even with a go-to, because sometimes the go-to fails. And with this trick, you can, in a matter of seconds, to point to any object in the sky, And I will show you right now. Better with images. Let's open Sharp Cap. Remember, the members of this channel will have a live stream very soon. Very soon. I don't know exactly when, but when possible, I will do it. Just for members. 
breaking down the trick to make this work flawless. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is out of focus. So I will point. This is not tracking. I will point to a bright star to focus the telescope because I was doing visual and with visual now I have a start on the Nexus a focal reducer but doing visual I have to take this off and place um, the camera of course and place um, an extension let's do like this first and now like this hold on a minute let's do let's do the star hopping star hopping hoping Okay, reset the platform. And now... And tear it. And now, while I look at the screen, at the monitor, I focus. Fine tune. I think it's fine. You see the yellow around the star? It's because it's a bright star and I'm using the broadband filter. Now, look what I'm going to do. I will disconnect the platform. Look. I will move the telescope. I move the beta telescope and look at this. This is my gift for Dobsonian owners that don't have tracking. You see that it's not tracking, you see the stars? Not tracking. Now look what I'm going to do. Tools. Push to assistant. Search. And Terry's. Uh, he doesn't ca capture the, the stars. Let me see some object here. Look at what I'm going to do without tracking. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have here 
the crab globular cluster m4 so i'm going to open the push to assistant m4 it is there it is full catalog m4 here okay start This is not tracking. Let's see if it's not a fail. Hello, Mark. Too warm, 28 degrees off ahead. <laughs> Let me let me take off the auto stretch. Reset this. This is a bit bloated. Let me point higher in the sky because this is a bit bloated in this region. Hold on. Ring nebula. It's near the ring nebula. Push to ring. Ring here. Start. Let's see. It solved. You see? It was uh, without a stretch. It, it's better to be with a darker background. It solved without tracking. And it's saying to me the ring nebula it's right 7.42 degrees and up 0 0.8. So it's almost there, but I have to move it to the right. So look at this. Hold on. Let's do this right. The opposite. This. And like this. Now I will go outside and while I move the telescope, the push tool will play it solve again and again. It's solving, you see. Each time it's with a green bar, it means it was uh, successfully solved. This is telling us that the software is recognizing, the software is recognizing the place in the sky where the telescope is pointing towards. But we are without tracking. You see how fast I have the push to working now? I will say you the trick to the members first. And it's very easy. Now I will move the telescope to match the what the software is telling me.
now the trick is to do the movement to the to place the the nebula here at the bottom because it as it is moving up someone without tracking would want to start at the bottom of the screen because it's moving up we don't need the push to anymore it's proved It's at the bottom and now you go quickly you have everything set it up and you do live stack four seconds but I will lower it to two seconds and clear no filter we, we have to, to work without filters here. Bam. Bam. You see? Without filters. It doesn't matter. Because the stars will be all with traces, of course. And... But it's stacking. Now you go to the histogram which will be a mess will be a mess let's reset and just move it manually okay less green no tracking here less green bit more red no tracking you see it's stacking everything because I have no filter you take a snapshot save as seen, bam you see the stars because of the lack of tracking but what we are doing now is live stacking without tracking and with a Dobson and Telescope. Let me move a bit this to see what happened. Now, if you are happy, if you are happy and satisfied with, and this is for Dobsonians and Newtonians, that you go deep zooming in the object and you are happy without the stars because you don't need to if you zoom you don't see the stars well you have here one but if you zoom out of course you ha will have trails but if you are happy with this result you can use it not only for this you will have to stop quickly because probably is not stacking anymore. Let me check. It's not on site every more, uh, anymore. Yes, it's it ran away. So you stop the stack. You stop the stack. It's here at the top. You see here the top look almost running away so this is for you to have or the ones that are watching the replay to have a notion of the time that you have with a zw 294 and a large field of view this is an 8 inch with a star on the nexus so if you don't use a focal reducer like this you will have less time or if you use a camera with a smaller sensor you will have less time you can also doing this kind of planetary nebulae uh, use with your camera and record the video and do lucky imaging for instance but but also the ones that like to do visual like i was doing yesterday 
there are objects that are very very hard to capture for instance people struggle to find uranus neptune planets some planetary nebulae or whatever faint galaxy that you can't visually and you start to get anxious if you have an astro camera already even that you don't have tracking you can watch it and position it, it like i did for instance imagine that you struggle to find a ring nebula i doubt you can position the things like i did but the difference will be that you will change the camera for the eyepiece and then you know for sure that it's there even that you touch the telescope it will be almost there so it will be much easier for you to discover and to add to your visual ob observations new objects that you couldn't do before because you just couldn't start up this works in a city with uh, with uh, Bartal 7, 8, 9 because it's a camera so I hope you enjoy this and now let's do the, um, the real stuff here with the uh, with the equatorial platform hello uncle uncle <laughs> greetings to canada of course this is a dobsonian power of course this is a dobsonian power Dobsonian power. power. By the way, by the way, thank you, thank you for being so mm, kind to me. I said this already on Discord, but I want to say here for the others to to listen to. Don't please don't go to other YouTube channels to promote my channel. I don't do that. I don't like people that does that. In my channel i delete th those messages and the other youtubers don't like it's not uh, with bad intention because i know people wants and gets excited to share things but uh, youtubers don't like that so i really really appreciate if you share on social your social networks facebook instagram whatever and with your friends whatsapp or uh, those kind of um, of platforms to share stuff with friends that's fine and that, that's really helpful I like to do to the people to do that but don't go to other channels to mess with them they don't like I don't like also and uh, we don't need we don't need we are in our stuff they know me very well you think they don't know all I, I will explain something all youtubers know me all, all uh, uh, YouTubers on astronomy know me and I know them and even that uh, some of us don't uh, watch each other videos we have a thing that is the YouTube uh, studio where we analyze everything in a channel and there's one feature there the ones that have channels know this that says other channels that my, my audience watch and all the channels are there, the others and I am my channel, the Dobsonian Power, the Dob Father, the Dob Father, appears in that uh, list of their uh, YouTube studio. And they come here to watch. I know people that come here to watch. Some of them, I talk with them, but they, they are um, more introverted or, or whatever. I, and others come to to see what i'm doing here or maybe to replicate i don't know maybe they are discovering uh, that they were in denial about the dobsonian for many years and now they are discovering that the true the true is like the olive oil if you if you place olive oil in a cup of water always comes up always it's a matter of time and the power of the Dobsonian. Dobsonian power. power. It's like the olive oil. It comes to the top. It rises in the water. 
and it's a matter of time but we have to understand that they have audience that are uh, outdated and uh, they they get angry get angry if we say that the Dobsonian does this and the, the, does that and they no 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 I don't want to listen I don't want to listen no 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 I don't want to see I don't want to see Dobsonian is for visual no 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 you see we have to understand their position but please just to finish this don't promote my my channel in other YouTube channels or certain kind of uh, uh, environments that are commercial that said let's connect the platform <laughs> let's place like this let's connect the platform the the sky seems to be a bit uh, weird a bit uh, the thing is or the transparency i don't know maybe the wind it's messing it all and let's try to point to let me see if the Omega that we didn't see yet with this filter. Omega Nebula. We saw the Eagle and it was very, very good with this telescope. The Omega Nebula is, uh, Nebula is at 31 degrees altitude. So it's already in a good position. Although it's over... Mm, it's in the direction of the Milky Way, of course. And it will be a bit messy. But, you know... Hello Samir! Samir is in the house! Hello Quasar! Hello Mazif! Hello Clefemi! Dob Father! They will come all to the Dob Father! <laughs> it was you that, uh, that gave the, the idea of the Dob Father. <laughs> so, let's connect the Prince. By the way, we are watching, for the ones that don't know, we are watching from here. Planet Earth continent europe country portugal region algarve 37 latitude bortle 5 so what i'm going to do now outside that you will see is i'll try to watch and i can watch the um, i can locate the sagittarius constellation it has a characteristic shape of a, a teapot and it will be easier because if I can for sure this triangle at least this triangle I can watch easily so I will point the tail rod like this I will try to see this star if I can see this star this like uh, an antenna here I just have to do one and a bit and then we will use the push tool the lazy way for you to see how fast now it works don't forget that the members of this channel soon in the, the, the next days I will do a members only live stream I prepared already the footage I prepared all the steps in a compact video to show you exactly what you have to do and it's easy, it's tricky but easy, exactly what you have to do to turn your SharpCap software in a powerful and fast, quick and easy push to tool that you will see in real time right now, in real time. Let's go. Uh, Quasar, it's the Omega Nebula. Omega, it's a large nebula. Actually, for the ones that like visual, yesterday I was watching this nebula and we can watch it very well, even we in Portal 5. And uh, although I don't like very much visual uh, filters, yesterday I have to admit that one of those filters, I think it was the UHC, because I was using the filter wheel for visual with this telescope, the Prince and I have to admit that the UHC filter was um, a benefit over the nebulosity it um, enhanced it enhanced a bit, not too much of a difference 
but it, it enhanced a bit in that nebula. In the others that I was watching, mm, the filters were useless. But in that nebula, the Omega nebula, it worked. But just a bit. And the position in the sky is south, so I think the wind is coming from north, so it will be better. First, reset the platform. And connect. Just connect. And now... Now, I can easily find this nebula with a finder. With a finder scope, if I now go to the finder scope, it will be super fast. But I want to show you the push tool. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. This is the kind of nebula that is super easy to find without any additional tool. But let's do it. Let's see how fast. Push to. Uh, I don't know if it has like Omega. Omega. Yes, it has. Swan. Omega. Swan. Horseshoe Nebula. It's funny. If you have, for instance, some object below the horizon. Like it is here, it captured it in the list. Omega Centauri. It says here, below horizon, for you to know. Good. Start. It works faster when the sky is better. I noticed that. A big quasar. <laughs> I think yes, Logan. I think that could work. I think that could work. One outside, one inside. Actually, even one... If you move... You, if you are outside, you start a life stacking. And you are outside, just moving the telescope. You can do it. But it's a bit of a cumbersome. No, it's, this is a not working. Why? Seems the <laughs> it's usually so fast. Let me see like this. 
or maybe too many stars here tools push two omega i was here so happy to show you my advance in here usually it's just three seconds I will move it a bit to many stars maybe Oh, look, the eagle. The eagle. Let's watch the eagle first. There. there already let me try ah to cover the um, the security camera with my new cap Let's do with a narrow band filter 8 seconds. Bam. To keep it simple, as we are here, then we go to the, the other one. I have to replace the filter by 50. Let's see. six I think this or it's the the atmosphere because the numbers when they are good they go to four and they are very high now oops what's what happened here what happened here with the uh, I moved this and now I can't now I can't move it ah okay okay it's here it's floating oh my god no I don't want this floating and the histogram is so bad much noise probably that the problem look at the histogram so bad it's not making the curve Very noisy. This is the atmosphere for sure. Let me see one thing. This wind. Let me see the dust. And the heat. The heat that comes. Well, a bit of dust. Yes, we have. The heat that rise in the um, it's released during the night because it's hot here
but this filter works works very well even with this condition look at instagram is a mess clear let me see what happened see holds off this curve of the um, these curves of the um, the colors should be like making here a, a peak at the middle but they are not now let me see where is the um, the omega so it's below i think yes it's a bit below so we are here and now we go it's an amazing image uh, even with these circumstances the omega let me see if uh, m17 if he captures it reset push to m17 start looks weird the sky Ah, it's solved. Now it's solved. It looks weird, you see? Telling me to go down. She's very, very, very nice. And now I will move it down. Hold on. Team, who, who needs a go to? Team, team from Netherlands. Team from Netherlands. How are one of the first members of this channel? Who needs a go to? Come on. Omega Nebula. I want to, to tell you something. Hold on. Uh, quad band, eight seconds. It's funny, it's windy, but it's hanging very well the thing is the atmosphere let me see now what happened with the histogram let me close 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 come here what's happening with the histogram Start to 94. Okay. Can it be because of the filter, the quad band filter? It's awful, the histogram. Look, again. In fact, this narrowband filter makes the nebula pop. Right away, with 30 seconds, we have this. So this is less than a minute. So this is less than a minute of the Omega Nebula, or Swan Nebula, with an 8 inch Dobsonian telescope. Amazing. Side menu. menu. Uh, can it be? But it should reset. It should reset because my, my settings are... for uh, This is starting to pop the, all the nebulosity. I will do it again. 
I will reset first, but it should be reset. It, it should be at zero. I'll do it again. Rouse 16. Binning. You know th that we have a Roy here now that we can do like this. Look. And this will be th what the camera will capture. You see? Here. Select Roy. Apply Roy. If you apply, look. Uh, let me open a bit more. It's another trick. A gift to you from the Dobsonian power channel. Apply Roy. Bam. Look at the Roy at the right. You see? Bam. Without any effort. Without any effort. Amazing. Haha. <laughs> this is amazing. Where's the menu? Ah, it's in real time. Okay. Let me do like this. Let me see if it works in the... Um, in the live stacking. Select Roy. Apply Roy. Uh, no. No? No. It works for planets. This will be good for planets. BAM! For planets! Let's clear this. You see, look at the sky. What, uh, what's happening here? Could be the filter. Could be the filter that I'm using. Look at the histogram. A mess. No, this is not right. Now. It's seconds. Close camera. This doesn't seem right. Darks. Brightness 8. The one I use. Let me try with the old... Um, sequence. If it's the same. It's the same, it's not the... Uh, can it be? Hey, Beozis! Golden Nebula! I'm not sure what's happening here. Time a click ping. Fold width of maximum. What am I doing wrong? Could it be the USB? Can be. This is alright, this is alright, this is alright. This is alright. Okay, let's do something. I will disconnect the USB. Look how beautiful this now. Disconnect and connect to the camera. Sometimes, I don't know. Stretch? I don't think so. I did it. But even with the auto stretch, my bet is that can be the filter. We close Solarium. 
But at the beginning, it was not like that, I, I think. Look, it's different. Hold on. Eight seconds. The only thing I did was disconnect the USB cable and connect it and reconnect it to the camera. Let's see now. It's the same. Can be the filter, I don't know. Look at how weird the image got here now. Look. Well, either ways, either ways, doesn't matter. Either ways, we get a beautiful Omega Nebula. Let me take this. Take this. But it's weird. Can be the sky. Nothing worked. Nothing worked, Abiosis. Don't you have a dog? Do it quietly. If you can't do it tonight, don't despair and do it tomorrow again. Yeah, it's weird. The sky tonight. Or the setup or whatever. Camera. I don't know why. I know what I can do. I can go to another nebula and change the filter to see if it's the filter. Can be. I'm not used to narrow band filters. Look how beautiful. You can see a part of it a bit visually. Increased brightness. Uh, we should not touch the brightness here, I think. What do you mean in the histogram? is with the, the darks the brightness here it doesn't matter look I will increase 46 want to see look you'll see I'm clearing I increased a lot to see the difference Look, you see? It's worse. The brightness, if we increase too much the brightness... I found that uh, it worked very well for me. Ah, but the Instagram now is good. 
Hold on. But now look at this. E man. Okay, let's find a balance. Don't tell me that you were right. Who said this? Yes, I'm using both, Marco. Darks and flats. Remove the darks and flats. Uh, who said about the brightness? Yes, the brightness was matching. But it's weird. It, it can be, it can be the need of adjusting that uh, those settings when using this kind of filter but the other day we did it with this filter abos is drink a beer enjoy the show and then try it again of course who said about the brightness that i i lost here in the <laughs> it's a new toy abiosis no the 10 inch i'm not seeing the the message okay let's adjust the brightness again this now is too much to the to the right even not matching, we want to, to see the difference. I have it at 8. Usually, they some people use it 30 or around that with this camera. Let's see what happens. The, the flats will not match, but I just want to... I can take it off. Hmm... I will remove the flats. Flats out. Yes, them guy, you're... Uh, look. Now. I removed only the flats, green cat. can be that also this is a, a world of trial and error like abiosis was trying but he, he didn't make it so far so far whoops Yeah, different colors now. Ah, you you mean the without the dark? Tell me if it's better. Hold on. Let me see if I find it. Dark vision, dark vision. Night vision. Like this? Is it better for you? Like this? Do you prefer? Yes? Easier to read? Yes, yes, the colors are very nice.
Yes. Yes. <laughs> we shall never give up. Of course not. But sometimes when we want something to to be done and we can't finish in one day or night we get annoyed but we should think we don't but we should think that everything will be alright tomorrow but <laughs> we want it tonight but it's curious but I like the colors but with with the other brightness let me see now changing again the brightness here at the bottom it's a 30 let's place it at the uh... oh come on this has a glitch that every time I try to insert a new number 8 let's see now clear See what happens if the histogram goes again mad. Just wait a bit. It went mad. I think I will have to adjust the brightness just because of this filter. Let's see... 15. It was working very well until now. And I think it's because of the filter. 15. If it's better. What I'm doing is changing the brightness levels. They should not be changed. They should match the, the darks that are applied. A bit better. Yes, the 30. That's why many people use 30. But... Uh, when I tried f uh, 30, every time I tried, and you see in the, my my live streams with 8, brightness 8 always works well. I think it's really because of the filter. Could be. 30. It's 30. Oh no, Offerhead. Oh, Fred. Cloud. You should set the brightness till the blacks come up to just off the right of the histogram. It's here, it's at the middle. You think it should be more, but more it will wash everything, you'll see. Oh, look. Let's see. I think I will do different for this filter. 35. Radio astronomy, see, all washed out. It's too much. Ah, but it's not uh, adjusted. Hold on. Usually I have here the histogram. It's better. How much? 35? 35. Here. It's better, it's better. Even without the, the the darks matching this brightness, well, as long as it works, it was not the cable, the USB cable at the end. It's a very beautiful nebula, and we start getting this. This region here, let me see here. By the way, we are watching the sky with a 
18 inch Dobsonian telescope, The Prince. The Prince. The Prince. M17, no? Messier 17. Omega. NASA. R1 Nebula. You see that region at the, the core? It's full of new stars. Illuminated by ultraviolet radiation from young massive stars on the right side of this photograph, M17, the right side of this is this region. It's this one for sure, the one that we are watching here. This. It's one of the largest star-forming regions in the Milky Way galaxy. Green represents oxygen, while red reveals hydrogen and infrared light. Welcome Keith Helinski to the community of the Dobsonian Power Channel membership. Thank you very much for being a new member of this wonderful community. Thank you. Thank you. Remember that uh, members have some benefits on Discord. So if you want, join Discord, join us on Discord, and you can connect your account, your account with the YouTube account and post links there also I sometimes I bring news like this from members that suggest and also you can have access to the membership um, tab on the YouTube channel the Dobson Empower channel with exclusive content you can go back in time to watch content if you need it for instance, the next time, it will be very soon, I will, I'm preparing uh, to break down this push to and the plate solving. It has a lot, a lot to be, it has a lot to be with, uh, with the plate solving. So it's important not only for the people that want the push to, but also for the people that don't. If you like this kind of content, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with videos and live streams. So it's located 5500 light years from Earth in Sagittarius constellation. Remember that Sagittarius is near the core of the Milky Way. For the ones that don't know, for the ones that don't know, the black hole, the core of the the Milky Way, our home. This is Sagittarius. It's more or less... I uh, think it's here. More or less here. You see Sagittarius? It's more or less here. We are watching the Omega Nebula, which is here. It's very... It's close to the... To the core. It contains one of our galaxy's youngest star clusters at only one million years old, only. However, many of the young stars in this cluster are impossible to see because of the gas and dust that surrounds them. Of course, Milky Way and also. The powerful radiation from the young stars evaporates and erodes the dense clouds of cold gas in which new stars form. It's a nursery. It's a nursery. One such pocket of gas is seen at the center of the brightest region of the nebula. And it's about 10 times larger than our solar system.
in our image here. Ah, it's getting beautiful. Good luck overhead. We are here. Pushing for your luck. Now it's better. We are adjusting a bit. This is real time image of the Omega Nebula in Sagittarius constellation M17, Messier 17, which is a catalog. Wrote by Charles Messier. Now we can watch also, let me save this because this is beautiful. It's only about 6 minutes with an 8 inch. I hope you're having a great summer, great weekend and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for being here. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Very pleasant night.